right, so let's talk about the backswing pivot. What is the backswing pivot, okay? So you're gonna see a lot of players turning their body around here, sliding their hip back over here, extending up early, sucking their butt in, turning in really weird ways, flexing their knees in the backswing, having their head drop down. Those are all things that I look at when I, when I watch somebody hit a ball right off the bat. I'm like, all right, what am I gonna fix first? That's the first thing I look at, computes in my head and I go, what is going on with this player? How can I make it easier on them immediately? And a lot of the times it's that structure, a lot of times it's where the face is at, and a lot of times it's where the pivot's at. So I'm gonna teach you the backswing pivot, okay? Um, what is the backswing pivot? It's comprised of a bunch of checkpoints. I could have this hip way inside, I could move pressure way out, I could move out, recenter. There's a lot of different ways really good players have done it. I'm gonna teach you the way I've done it because I think it's the easiest way. So when we look at things, we call these flexion of the knees, flexion of the hips, flexion of the spine, extension of the knees, extension of the hips, extension of the spine, okay? So when you look at that, you're gonna see players extend the legs more, flex the left leg, keep the hip in flexion or extend the hip flexion. You're gonna see extension of the spine or no extension of the spine. You're gonna see left bend that's turned around, someone with no left bend, someone with a lot of left bend, someone with their head dropping, someone with left bend but coming up. You're gonna see a lot of combos from a lot of players and that's why you see low point control problems. That means they're going up and down, they're sucking their butt in. So when you get this backswing pivot right and you have checkpoints, what I usually do is usually it's sunny out and we have a shadow and I face my shadow and I put a ball on the head and one on the hip here. Johnny, come on over here, please. So what we'll do right here is I'm gonna demonstrate, put your arms across your chest, Johnny, please. Face the, face the camera. If I put something right here and I said, go ahead and bump into this and then recenter, boom. His hip from where we started, well, let's do that one more time because I messed that up. Okay, so bump into it a little bit and then just give me a cut ball of space right there's perfect. So see, there's a golf ball of space here. His right hip is inside his foot line. If his right hip's not inside his foot line, he's gonna wanna really slide or chase to get some pressure the proper way, dive on it or whatever, okay? So you're gonna see different combos. So what I do is move into this a little bit and then I recenter the pelvis, okay? Now, so do it again, Johnny. Now you're gonna see from his head position, he moves off a tiny bit and then starts to recenter it, okay? That's recentered. You can see, get your hip in a straight line, right there, but turn all the way back with the shoulders. So that's there, that's strain for him. Let your knee come in a little more. The more the knee comes in, the more you can move this shoulder back. It's a lot easier on a lot of players, okay? So one more time. You're gonna notice that the shoulders are back about 90 to a little more and the hips are at least 45. And now what I want you to do is take this out and don't retract it, protract, now retract it. That's the big muscle in the back right here, in the bone right here, that he's retracting this back. That gives him more shoulder turn, okay? And we want that. Now, where do you feel like your pressure is there, Johnny? 50-50, okay, so that was 50-50. I'm gonna show you 50-50 again. So Johnny's going to move his hips over here and like that. Is that 50-50? Okay, now go the opposite way where you push this out. That's about 50-50, okay? So 50-50 means different things. It doesn't mean that you're actually doing it right because you see pressure. That's why when you see a force plate, they're great, but they can also be misleading, okay? So go ahead one more time, Johnny. So the backswing pivot, we're trying to bump in and then create some space. That's the way I teach it. Now, let's do it again. Why don't I just turn? Because a lot of times it creates too much space and now they can't get out of the way. They either bump or they cannot get out of the way. So we're gonna move a little pressure right and then we're gonna move back to there. That's your backswing pivot. Now turn around the other way. Now from this side, if I had something on his head and butt, go ahead and turn to the top and you're gonna see that that butt stays on the wall, the head stays there on that line. Now do me a favor and drop down on one. Okay, now do me a favor and go up and flat shouldered. I see a lot of that. So the shoulders stay on the shoulder plane and the head doesn't drop. Now, if your head's dropping, that means you have left bend, extend your spine at address, and you don't have any spine flexion. So your head goes down. So round your spine, go up with your spine without turning. That's what you're gonna do with the left bend. That'll keep you level 
and your butt in a good position, okay? So that is your backswing pivot structure of what we're trying to teach there. So you're gonna see a lot of people with a lot of different teachings. Some players are moving way off here and then trying to recenter. Some players are just moving over here. Some people have flat shoulders. Some have very vertical shoulders. Some drop into the ball and jump this way. A lot of different stuff. So we're trying to make this really easy on you. Now turn your butt to the camera so we can show them tape line. I use tape a lot on the butt. Okay, so that means this butt right here, I like this by the top to get over the inside of his foot. So you'll watch him push pressure right, recenter the pelvis perfect right there. So that tailbone is over the inside of the right foot. That means now he can just start rotating back, okay, and push back in there. Now move off the ball too much and stay over there. Now just start turning. You're gonna be stuck on your back foot. Now do it again where you do what I do. Get off the ball and then fish hook. Yes, then he starts sliding. Do it worth a slide a little more. Johnny's not very good at that. Now slide, yes. That's what a lot of people I see doing because they don't understand that if your pressure's off, your upper body's too far back, you're gonna start sliding. Now, one more thing we're gonna show you about this is the belly button and the pelvis, okay? If I set up, my pelvis is gonna stay down while my spine moves up, okay? If my belly comes up with it, you're gonna look like you're in a reverse tilt here, okay? Pressure's gonna get to over here. Then you're either gonna be over the top or you're gonna slide your legs and your low point's gonna get bad, okay? So when you're doing it, you're keeping your belly down, extending the spine. That spine is gonna keep us centered. If your shoulders are off, you're gonna move off the ball. If your chest is down, you're gonna move off the ball. So my coach used to say, why are you moving off? It stays centered. And I didn't know that I could extend my chest up and have left bend so my head would move off. So I started going like this to stay centered. I don't want you to do that. Get your left bend to go around with extension. Keep the belly down, the hip down. And the last thing is, is when your right leg goes back, go ahead, Johnny. Go back, lock that leg. Okay, now bend it a little bit. Okay, you felt something in your quad and in your glute there. If it extends too much, you lose that. And then it's hard to reflex that knee. Now do it to where it stays flexed forever. You can't turn and you're really loaded and you're most likely gonna jump up through the ball. So make sure that right leg extends and turns because that'll allow you to finish your turn. Now face the, face the camera one more time. So you'll watch this femur and his lower bones here, the tibia fibula, they're gonna actually rotate without this foot coming off the ground. So dig that toe in and the pressure will be on the heel. If you do all those things, you're gonna be set up with that new structure up top to just open up, okay? If you guys are looking for more tips or more information about the golf swing, I've got lots more on George Gankis Golf. Click the link in the description and you'll have all the info you could ever need.